Following some breaking news that spans from Connecticut all the way to Florida, we've learned a physical therapist from Colchester has now confessed to killing his wife, three children, even the family dog. They had vanished more than a week ago and were found dead just outside Orlando, Florida. Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Kevin Hogan has been following the story since it first broke. He's live in Colchester now with the heartbreaking details. And I know, Kevin, when this happened, it was just such a, a sigh in our newsroom because it was just not what people expected. Heartbreaking is the word, Dennis. There's another one. Why is the biggest question many in, in this community, Colchester, are asking, what happened here? Uh, the Todd family, well-beloved, well-respected here, running a, a family therapy practice here for, for years, and then relocating to Celebration, Florida. Anthony has been arrested on a warrant obtained by our detectives today for multiple counts of homicide and one count of felony animal cruelty. In a news conference this afternoon, Osceola County Sheriff Russ Gibson says before finding the bodies Monday and serving a federal arrest warrant on Tony Tot, his department checked on the Tot family back on December 29th. This was at the request of Tony's sister. No one answered then. Eviction papers were served just days earlier. Based on the initial investigation to include the suspect statements, the deaths have been determined to have occurred sometime towards the end of December. The sheriff is not releasing how Tony's wife, Megan, and their three children were killed. 13-year-old Alec, 11-year-old Tyler, and Zoe Tote, who was four years of age, born July, Twenty-third, two 2015. Anthony also killed their family dog, Breezy. You don't know when, you know, when something's going to happen like this. Did, didn't he have uh, financial problems or something? Tony Tot's physical therapy practice in Colchester was served an eviction notice today, just one of many financial problems now coming to light that stunned this community. He seemed very nice, really, because I had him after my car accident. I went to his business for my physical therapy. He seemed fine. It's hard to believe that someone could do something like that. Now, Colchester, as well as Celebration Florida, they're all offering counseling service. Colchester School District offering counseling service for children as well because they were connected with the uh, to uh, family children. Uh, that's being offered. And also tonight, the biggest question we go back to is why? Well, just a few moments ago, we did get an answer, and it's coming from the U.S. Attorney's Office in New Haven, and it appears to be Medicaid and Medicare fraud. We're going to have much more on that coming up in Eyewitness News at 6. Live at the Mobile Newsroom in Colchester, Kevin Hogan, Channel 3, Highway News. All right.